The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he has it on the corner. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. That's a game of two on the That makes it second and eight. And he can't get away from the pressure. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. their own 15-yard line. Third down. He sails it long. Can't connect. Brad, this is an example of the timing between a quarterback and a wide receiver just has to be buttoned up. He just simply overthrew a wide receiver downfield. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. Didn't get all of that one. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Receivers got it on the screen. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Quarterbacks love it when they have a wide receiver who can take a lateral pass and turn it into a big game like this. I mean, not only is it an easy throw, but it looks great for the quarterback's stats. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 24. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, it's third down. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. They got four yards on that one. He got just a little bit of separation from the defender, and that was enough room for him to make the catch. Inside the 10. He's brought down in the open field. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Nice run there. That's a game of seven. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Wildcats. And he hits the PAT. A nice seven-play, 44-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. Kentucky's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Takes the ball inside. Nice run to the left there. Second 
necessary. And that one's incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. It's third and seven. Ball on the 40. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run, but boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Kentucky is up seven. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. This passing game could be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Fires to his receiver, first down. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And he's taken down at the 20. Second down and around one yard to go. Ball on the 11. Tackle made around the five yard line. and he can't make the grab. It's the ninth play of the drive. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Looking for the corner. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision-making. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. The Wildcats really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. 
The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Tackle around the 40-yard line. It's complete. And down he goes at the 45. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. That makes it first and ten. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and two. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. So at the end of one, Kentucky leads it 14-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Goes to the tight end and it's knocked away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. with a screen here and the halfbacks got it. Big play and it's first and goal. The defense saw a clear path to the quarterback and got a little too wide-eyed there. They need to watch the over pursuit and play with more discipline. Toss left, met by the line. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from this safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's level at the five. That makes his third and goal. Got a man open touchdown. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. the five-yard line gets to about the 27-yard line in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions Kentucky up seven points he unloads it and he's got it inside the 30 to the 10 what a play! Brought down inside the five. <laughs> He's under some heat. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. He flicked his wrist and made the connection to his wide receiver. It looked to me that the defense was more worried about the quarterback scrambling, and that's why they just gave up that touchdown. He makes the PAT.
from the seven. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. This was uh, clipping, receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's tackled right away. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Finds his man, first down, and they make the stop right around the 34. Fires out to his receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 45 yard line. That's good for the That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. Nice play across the middle. And he is drilled at the 32. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. From the 32 yard line. First down. Good outside run there. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 25. Wow. At the 25 yard line. That makes it third and three. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. That's such a huge letdown for this defense. That kind of conversion is just inexcusable. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. On the ground with a tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. like they're ready for the kick.
He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 31-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Kentucky is up a score. He sails it long. From the 48-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Heading for the corner. He's taken off, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 30. Stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 32 yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 25 yard line. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Is one for the end zone. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. That's a great tackle at the 31. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. This offense has found the end zone on their last two drives. And they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 31. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. The Golden Panthers using their third and last timeout. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He goes downtown. The defender had it and then dropped it. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. The score, Kentucky leads it 21-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset they haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. 
You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Caught at the eight. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Kentucky is up seven. Big opening. Gets out to around the 38. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 38-yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Run right and hit in the backfield. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Tackle made the 37-yard line. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Kentucky! He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. That quickly incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 26. And down he goes at the 35 yard line. 
That'll make it third and one. Fires to the wideout. First down. That's a game of two. First down. Takes the ball inside. And he hits him hard at the 45. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He steps out around the 36-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. Hands it to the back. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Gets out to around the 45. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 45. Let's go! Going right to his tailback. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. out to about the 31. So they're going to go for it here. That's three down and one to go. The Wildcats lead it by two touchdowns. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. 
And this is what power football is all about, folks. Nice run, and he's brought down. Stopped immediately. That makes it second and six. Gets to about the 14 yard line. This defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 14-yard line. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. throw out to the receiver incomplete second down 10 yards to go ball of the 14 gets out to around the 28 Scrambling around. And a quick throw. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Number 32 makes the set ball at the 38-yard line. First down. He goes out of bounds at about the 41. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 41 yard line, third down. Get to that quickly. He's going to go for the home run. Missed him. And they just couldn't connect there on the long ball. Well, that's one the quarterback wants back. He just had a little too much on that pass. And this play is number eight on the drive. Got it and brought down immediately. Just under three to go in regulation. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of down. Quick pass. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. And 
This is the 12th play of the drive. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40, six, six, seven, seven. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. So they'll move back after Still that costly in. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Swings it out left to the halfback. That's a great tackle at the 22. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Rose intercepts. No, he dropped it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Pass right, running backs got it. Brought down at the 20. to the tailback incomplete. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. Rose complete touchdown. Only a one-score difference now after that big, big touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A long 17-play, 65-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Tackle at the 44. Well, they tried, but they couldn't get the ball back. Brad, they still have some time left, but it'll be up to their defense now to make a big play. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Makes it out to about the 36. A gain of eight on the carry. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. A little over a minute in the game. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The defense has got to do a better job at the point of attack. That time they gave up enough of a cushion there to be able to get the offense a first down. They've got to get more aggressive, get lower. They want to get the football back to their own offense. They've got to step up and not keep giving up these first downs. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. Florida International will use their final timeout. Fights forward to about the 26. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up 32. He scrambled. He gets sacked on the play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here.
He launches one for the end zone. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, 28-21, Wildcat. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.